It has a very sensitive bolometer. It's very easy to operate. It operates a lot like a computer. Um, it has a visible light camera in it as well as an IR camera. So just like right there you can see <clears throat> here's your infrared image right in the middle. Here's your visible light image on the outside. In most cases I will take pictures or images inside a client's home in this mode so when they look at it they will know exactly where they are. If we change it to just an IR image, as you can see, even though we have a, a potential subject, okay, here's our subject. That doesn't tell you where you are. No. Okay, so if you go here, you go, I recognize those pictures. I know exactly where he touched that wall. So this helps the, the client, and that's the only reason why we're here is for the client. We're not here for us. Okay, so now let's start our interior evaluation. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on the fan, the blower door, and we're going to depressurize this house to 50 Pascal. <clears throat> and what that does for us, it sucks cold air in every crack and crevice that you have. So it's warm in the house, it's about 68 degrees. So we're bringing 35 degree air into the house through the cracks, holes, and crevices. Now we can image them and we can tell our client exactly where the issue is and in a lot of cases what's causing it or we can surmise because not all issues are visible until you do destructive discovery and that is beyond the scope of this evaluation. This is a return air vent. Without taking down this vent, I don't know for sure, but it appears to be that they're using the floor joist bays as a duct, which is cooling off this entire wall. We'll see if we can verify it in a minute. Um, whenever you use joist bays or wall bays as a duct, you have the potential to depressurize the whole house, uh, which causes a lot of grief but in a nutshell it's costing you money to, to run your furnace. Uh, this is done every day but it's very boor, poor building practice and it costs the client a lot of money. It's a phantom energy loss. Looking up there, they have used your, your floor cavities for a heat duct. It is absolutely the most inefficient thing that you can do because now it's not a closed system. It's pulling air from uh, the cavity between floors, right? Correct. So we could we could make that more efficient by actually running um, a duct. A duct. If you can get to it. Okay. This is hard to repair without a lot of destructive uh, processes to do it. The good thing here is the furnace is behind us, only about five feet, six feet. And it's so a, it might be doable. And here's what you see. Here's the stove. It's got a downdraft fan. Look at the air coming out from around the cabinet doors, clear down to the floor. So the duct work for this is not sealed and or it doesn't have a damper on it. So it's just open to the crawl space or open to the outside, wherever they terminated it. And this is a three inch hole that is open to the house 24 seven. So this is an easy one to fix. It'll have a huge effect on the house, a positive effect. And it's very commonly overlooked. You couldn't find this breach without a blower door operating. It would be just about impossible. You can see the air that's infiltrating into the attic over here. It's following this floor joist um, all the way into the kitchen. This is the ceiling between the kitchen and the upstairs. So you've got, a, you've got several cold stripes in here. This is why air sealing of a house is so, so important. That square 
is being averaged. It's being averaged here at 53.5. The coldest part inside this square is 44.1. Your maximum is 57.8. In a house that should be somewhere around 68 degrees. We've got three big breaches in this house. The furnace room is the first big breach. So you've got that, you've got this, which is the second biggest breach. This is so big that I can't measure it. And then the attic hatch door doesn't fit properly. That's your third biggest breach. If you don't take care of all three of these openings, you have no hope, none, of heating this area with a rational amount of money. But no matter how much money you throw at it, you'll never be comfortable in this room until you fix these three areas.